Now look, on Wednesday, you, the taxpayer, will fork around out around half a million dollars to fly Labor MPs and their staff back to Canberra for a day. Labor's early caucus meetings designed to give the PM a photo op, a bit of a stunt, prior to his speech to the National Press Club on Thursday. And to ensure, of course, he's got plenty of colleagues in the room, lest the press club look empty. And the Labor MPs anxious about their electoral prospects, given the government's dismal recent record and the PM's obvious lack of mojo since he lost the voice, that we also morale-boosting drinks at the lodge on Wednesday night. Now, the government's try to put itself in the clear with taxpayers by stressing that the Labor Party would fund the drinks at the lodge. But it's still heading up taxpayers so it can have a choreographed discussion about cost of living relief that the PM already knows will be in his speech to announce the following day. Now, this is the kind of thing that makes people very cynical about politics and despair about our lack of better government. One of the items we're told is on the caucus agenda is the much promised stage three tax cuts that I might remind people are already law. They were passed in the Morrison government era and they're due to hit our bank accounts on the 1st of July. Now, this is not money from the government. Let's be clear, these are tax cuts. So this is just us being allowed to keep a little bit more of our money for us to spend rather than send it all to Canberra for government to waste. The PM said before the election that these tax cuts were safe. Are you still committed to delivering those tax cuts, no levies? and We're committed to delivering... Given the budget what, strife that, that we're in. Yes, Kieran, we're, we're committed to delivering what we said we would. And I've said on the Stage 3 tax cuts uh, that they've been legislated, people are entitled uh, to operate on the basis of that certainty. But in recent weeks, he's started to wobble. Indeed, late this afternoon, 2GB Radio in Sydney is reporting that the tax cuts, as promised, are dead. Stage three tax cuts. The Prime Minister, Anthony Albanese, is about to overhaul them. Now, this is the plan that I'm told will go to Cabinet tomorrow. The top tax bracket will remain at $180,000. So if you earn more than $180,000 a year, you will get $6,000 a year back under this plan instead of $9,000. If you earn less than $180,000 a year, you will get a couple of grand more than was what was promised. Now, I know how the government's going to spend this. It's giving more cost of living relief, it'll say, to poorer voters by giving less to richer ones. But make no mistake, any change to his pre-election commitment to keep the Stage 3 tax cuts in full would be yet another breach of faith by the PM. Out of touch and now looking like he's unable to keep his word, not a good place for the PM to be halfway through this first term.